The search is over. A fugitive who escaped custody is back in handcuffs tonight. This new video shows the moments after U.S. Marshals caught Aleem Borden. Good evening. I'm Jacqueline London. And I'm Fred Shropshire. Borden was spotted several times around Philadelphia, but his getaway ended hundreds of miles away. I am pleased to announce at 2 p.m. this afternoon, Borden was taken into custody in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. After four days on the run, fugitive Aleem Borden is back in custody. U.S. Marshals tracked him to a home in Johnstown more than 200 miles from Philadelphia. A search was conducted and it was determined Borden had secured himself in the attic crawl space. Deputy Marshals breached the crawl space entry point and Borden had to be forcibly removed from the attic. The marshals believe two associates drove Borden out of Philadelphia Tuesday night. He had been on the run since Monday after escaping police officers at Episcopal Hospital in Kensington. He was still in his handcuffs when he was spotted on surveillance video Monday morning going into and out of a house in North Philadelphia. The next day, U.S. Marshals almost captured him in West Philadelphia after confronting him inside a home on West Columbia Avenue. You see all different kind of people going in and out of the house. Some of them look like druggies. Mm -hmm. It's just a total disaster. Neighbors we spoke with saw U.S. Marshals surrounding the home on Tuesday, but never saw Borden himself. As far as my family and everything and the people around the neighborhood, you know, it's kind of, you know, I know the day upset and, and kind of nervous. Despite the days long manhunt, U.S. Marshals praised the dedication and teamwork it took to bring Borden back into custody. The public should take comfort in knowing that there is a professional, dedicated investigative fugitive task force that, specializing find, that specializes in finding people who do not want to be found. And with today's arrest, the Eastern Pennsylvania Violent Crimes Fugitive Task Force has now arrested seven people wanted for escape over the past year.